Howdy y'all, Matt here, Seattle Speed Shop. We are back from the Portland Swap Meet. Had an amazing time, sold a bunch of junk. Sorry, fine used goods. Uh, no, in reality, I try and only sell good stuff, so. Uh, we sold a bunch of it, and I bought a fair amount of stuff, and I figured you guys might wanna see what we brought home. So I didn't record it all over the weekend. I was just kind of not feeling it and I was a little overwhelmed. First time selling at the swap. Uh, though I kind of have some plans for next year. We'll, we'll see what happens. Anyways, I'm going to show you what I bought, which is probably the most interesting part anyways. So <clears throat> I brought home trick is not buying too much so I definitely sold more than I brought home but I was able to pack pretty much what I bought into this one tote I bought this little Carter carburetor two drawer cabinet at the last minute on Sunday which is the only thing that didn't fit Got some of these set of four painted wheel spats. Kind of got an idea for these. So got those for personal thing. I also have some chrome ones or stainless steel. Uh, a couple sets of those. I've never seen the painted ones. Um, I think these are either for like a Plymouth or a Dodge or maybe even a Chevrolet. I actually don't know what they fit, but I think I can use them on an early Ford with some slight modification. <clears throat> so I bought those to try that out on. And this is one of the last things I bought as well. It's a original Swin bicycle seat with the badge. Uh, it was really cheap and I do really well selling bicycle stuff on eBay. Uh, so that's going to go on eBay. And so we got one. Hard to do one-handed. Uh, somewhere there we go. Number three, ninety-seven carb, and we got one, two, and three. Uh, so I think you know where that's going. This was the first thing I bought the entire weekend. Uh, it's actually right across the stall from me. Uh -oh. That's gonna go on my, my little display wall, I think. So, got that. And, uh,. These are Cal Customs for a small block Chevy. They are made in Gardenia version. So these are the early desirable 
what I think I call them nine fins. Uh, so I got those. Too cheap to pass up. A pretty solid pair. Then you a little cleanup, but uh, happy with those. That was a, a good, good purchase. And I stole this from Clark. Uh, my swap, swap meet partner. Oh. Uh, or one of the one of the guys in Saul. Four of us split it in the place, but uh, and I got this modified spoon pedal. Um, I was actually gonna have to modify one of these, an original one for the Bell Auto Parts special. Found that uh, too cheap to pass up. Uh, means I have one now that I don't have to modify and they're obviously worth a lot more unmodified and Got this I actually watched this piece sit around all weekend. You know, it's just a repo uh, Pretty good pretty good And This is probably my favorite purchase of the weekend So, chrome B cover. So that is also going to go on a car of mine. Uh, and I got a really great set of Tina Black. Get out, of the Get out of the sun for you guys. Guide 682Cs. Just incredible patina. Uh, can't turn up a set like that. So, got that. And got. Stuart Warner curved glass gauges. Uh, got those. Got a couple headlights. These are 35, 37 uh, Ford pickup. They're pretty nice buckets. No glass. Uh, no rings, no reflectors, but uh, for it I paid, who cares. And then, the last thing I bought, well I guess second to the last thing I bought, uh, was another intake. So, uh, yeah, pretty good, pretty good little haul right there, right? So, not too bad. All right, guys, so you may have seen in the last video, I'd started taking this thing apart. Uh, basically, I'm having a clutch issue. Clutch isn't disengaging. Um, so I guess we're pulling the engine. So, uh, I don't know, you've seen me do that a couple times. I'm just gonna get to it and we'll have a look at things when I get this out, so enjoy this time lapse.
Alrighty, so got this thing mostly disconnected, radiator off. Just uh, got all the wiring disconnected. So I think our next gotta get the starter out. And then we can do the motor mounts and the transmission. And it's pretty much ready to pull in. Uh, <clears throat> I got the motor mount bolts which are down there. They're two big bolts on each side. And then all the bell housing bolts and the front. The front motor mount bolt was actually missing. Which is not good. Um, but as I release the bell housing bolts, the engine kind of started to separate by itself. Uh, so obviously something's screwy. Uh, we're just about ready to pull this thing. So I'm gonna get a chain on it and let's get it out. I wonder if the clutch is in backwards or something. So, not seeing anything terrible. Uh, except for maybe some of these adjustments of I need to look at another clutch. Huh, that's really weird. Well, I'm gonna keep investigating. Well, I think I discovered the problem. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is in backwards. This is this should be the flywheel side, right? I, I never, let's maybe look at this, see if it says. Yeah, it doesn't say. I'm pretty sure that's in backwards though. Um, I actually didn't install that and never checked it. Um, oh, wow, looking. Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking that that was maybe our problem. <laughs> Surprised it worked at all. Um, I wonder if I should replace this clutch disc or not. I do have some newer ones. Um, yeah. Well, that sucks, but I guess we'll be going back together here soon. All right, so <clears throat> this next day, I elected not to work on this thing anymore last night, but figured we'd continue. Looks like I got coolant everywhere so that's cool um i was looking at this you can see how the adjustment screws are kind of low um, on this other one they're not like that uh, this is actually a new need 
uh, pressure plate or a di diaphragm. Uh, so I think I'm going to go ahead and use this set uh, just to be careful, I think. Um, even though this one might be okay. Uh, yeah, so I gotta be honest, I'm a little uh, surprised by how well the clutch worked <laughs> and how many miles I had on it before it gave me an issue and it actually just wouldn't go into gear um, after it sat for a couple days after I drove it home. So, I don't know. Uh, but I'm glad it's something simple. Uh, yeah, so I guess I'm gonna clean up the friction surface a little bit on both of these. And guess we'll get this thing stabbed back in hopefully pretty quick. I just want to clean the flywheel a little bit. It looks like it's had a lot of heat in it. I think it'll be okay. It looks like it was definitely, the clutch was maybe slipping a little bit. All right, the clutch is on. Should probably double check the tightness of it. Uh, so I think we're about ready to go back in. to use an input shaft from a transmission versus the little plastic doohickey they send you. Just seems to fit better. All right, so the engine is in. Probably the hardest part is trying to get the two bolts on the motor mounts on each side lined up. But we're in, we got all the bell housing bolts in. Uh, front motor mount is on, so now we just get to hook up all the accessories. All this left is everything else. Well, uh, I was going to do a time lapse, but batteries, so I figured we'd just check in. Uh, hood on, grill shell on, uh, need to get the lights on, wire up the headlights, a couple small things, get some coolant in it. 
uh, get the floors back in. But our power went out, so it's kind of dark. So that probably is gonna be it for today. I need I need to go like dig up some hardware, which is way in the dark area. I suppose I could go find a flashlight. But I'm just not super uh, excited about working by flashlight. So I think we'll come back to this tomorrow morning and finish up. Or hopefully the power comes back on soon. So a pretty, t pretty productive day other than that. All right, it's the next day, power's back on. Uh, we got this thing most of the way assembled. Actually, <laughs> did it by flashlight last night with Texas Matt. And I've got to get some coolant in it. Got to wire up the headlights. Tighten up the hood rods. Tighten up the apron. I think we're like, you know, we're 20 minutes from uh, being ready to go. Oh, got to get the floor back in. Surprise! Battery died. That's pretty awesome. I've spilled coolant everywhere. Uh, but we're basically back together. Charlie's being a pill. Uh, it runs. Um, yeah, got a couple more bolts tightened down, like the, uh, the radiator stay rods and grill shell stuff, and I need to tighten up the headlight bar uh, a little bit. Um, but other than that, we're we're done. So. I guess we have answered the question that yes, a Model A will run with the clutch in backwards. So, <laughs> uh, kind of a surprise, but hey, here we are. It seems to shift better. Uh, I'm gonna go take it for a spin uh, and probably play ball with Charlie because as you can hear, he's barking and being a pain. So, see you next time. I'm gonna order some batteries and hopefully get this recording thing figured out because this has been ridiculous. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. See you next time.